break, to smash, to disintegrate that curse. Alcoholism was a curse in my family. My father, he'd, he'd work and then he'd go on a binge, insane binge. My brother died of alcoholism. Cousin, blame, alcoholism, my problem. So mother family's anger, your answer for every conflict, every issue, every unpleasant experience is anger. And if you look at your mother, your father, sometimes your grandparents, your siblings, that's, that's their manner of dealing with it. Some people run away, just run away. You're a runner. Any kind of issue, you're gone. You're out here. You'll create a fight with your spouse and use that as an excuse. I'm out of here. I have to listen. I have to put up And the list goes on and on. My point is, the root of this thing very possibly could have begun generations ago. It's generational curses. Family curses. It's just like appetites. It's, it's, where did you get your appetite? You probably got it at home. Generation. Mexican people like Mexican food. Italian people like Italian food. Some folks like soul food and greens and country cooking. And, you know. But how did that happen? It happened because of the influence, family, association. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Listen to me, I've said it over and over. God did not say, some of you here, you have a trait of your father that, that is totally, you know it's wrong. You saw what it did to your mother. You saw what it did to the family. And still, it's in you. That's a curse. And if you knew your grandparent, it's probably in them. That's a curse. That's more than just, well, I, that's just the way I am. No, no, there's more involved there. More involved there. More involved there. And interesting, sometimes uh, I've known families where uh, the, the women, women, multiple relationships, and then the children, like it's propagated these multiple relationships. Trap it down. It's a curse. Listen, God wants to break curses. He wants to deliver from the curse. That you can be free, as the scripture said, to serve God. Not in and out, up and down all over the map, but to serve the living God. Serve the living God. There's people here, the lights are going on. There's people here, I can feel your, feel your agony, your heart. There's you, you, uh, I mean, I can feel it. I feel things in the spirit realm. I, I just, and, and it just, you're saying, shh, God. It's true. I see that in my family. I see that. I recognize that. Listen, Jesus said, I became a curse for you that you can be free from the curse. You have to believe that. You have to believe that. I ask you about your head when you see it. Oh, Ramashallah, Oh, God, be capable of Ramashallah. First of all, you're here tonight, Jen. I prayed a prayer many years ago and there were some things the curse was broke immediately. Alcohol, drugs, the curse was broken immediately. The Bible says old things pass away. And all things become new. 
you're here tonight, Jim, and you, you, you recognize there's these influences that track you. You see it in your parents or grandparents, siblings. You see a trait. You see a path. Salvation is a powerful thing. To be forgiven. It's a powerful, powerful miracle. The Bible says you can be born again. You're here tonight. And that's you. Pastor, that's me. That's me you're talking to. I need a miracle. I need Jesus. I need, I need to be forgiven. I need to be set free. I don't know. I, I need help. I need the Lord's help. That's you tonight. Uh, and you say, I want to pray tonight. I want to pray. I'm going to believe God to save me. Set me free change my life. And that's his promise. He said, I came to bind up the broken hearted, set at liberty those that are bruised, open prison doors of those who are bound. You're here tonight. Say, Pastor, I want that. I need that. I'm not right with God. I need to pray. You lift your hand. Just lift it up. God's dealing with you. The love of God, the grace of God speaking to you about your soul, about your heart, about your life. Here's my hand, Pastor. Here's my hand. I need God. I need God. That's what I need. I need God. Anyone. You I see your hand over here, dear. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for your honesty. How many more? You lift your hand. You join me. You just lift up your hand that I can see it. I see a hand up the middle here. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who else? How many more? Just lift it up. Lift it up. Others here. Others here. God's dealing with you. God's dealing with you. Speaking to you. Anyone else? Backsliding. Backslider, cold in there. Anyone else? Anyone else? God is in this place. You lift your hand. I want those with their hands lifted. Lift your eyes and look at me. Sincere with God, I believe you are. Sincere with God back there, dear. Thank you. I want you to come. I want you to come. Someone's going to pray with you. Would you come right now? Would you come? Would you come back there? I need someone to pray with you. Station's going to pray with you. Someone's going to pray with you. Amen. You just kneel right here. God bless you, dear. Thank you. You just kneel down. Someone's going to pray with you. Amen. Others here, as I was speaking, or maybe you're already aware, there's a curse that's invaded and activated, has influence in your life. Makes you say things and do things and think things that you really don't, you know it's not right. You don't want to be that way. But it's like it's all it's like you're a bondage. I'm gonna ask you to stand with me all over this building. 